One of the most notable features of the California recall is that some polls show the only racial group in overall favor of kicking Newsom out is Latinos, despite the usual smears from Democrats that anyone who doesn't support them is a racist, white supremacist, or whatever. Joining us now to talk about all that and more, co-host of the California Rebel Base podcast, Kristen Garcia Dumont, and Tammy Bruce is back with us as well. Kristen, I mean, they, the Democrats, they totally take the Latino vote for granted, um, but suddenly it's not looking so good for them. You're a Mexican-American. What's going on? That's exactly right. You know, it's pretty exciting. 54% of Latino voters in California want to kick this guy out. They're done. You're absolutely right. They're done being taken for granted. And he sees these polls, and Gavin's panicked. He's worried. So he's, you know, all of a sudden frantically running around this weekend, trying to find any Latino community that he can find. So he can do a photo op, say a couple words in Spanish, I don't know, eat a burrito, whatever racist trope his handlers told him to do. And, you know, we see through it. Where has that clown been for the last 18 months while we suffered? Latinos took COVID on the chin. We suffered the most in health outcomes and in economic outcomes. And where was Gavin? When my kids couldn't go to school and his were in private school, where was Gavin? When our businesses were shut down, exactly. where was Gavin? He had the nerve to tell us not to have Thanksgiving dinner, yet he's off, you know, gallivanting <laughs> at the French Laundry with a $15,000 wine bill. You know, this is a guy who kept churches and schools closed <laughs> and strip clubs open. This guy's a joke. Well, there we are. And people will have to have their verdict on Tuesday. Uh, Tabby, you escaped California. We miss you here, but you escaped. Um, but you know a lot about how Democrats operate in this state. What's your take on the recall election overall? Well, I do come back every now and then because, look, it's a beautiful state. Uh, it is worth saving. We can't abandon it. It is an important part of American history uh, with all the mix of who we are as Americans. Uh, and so, yes, I mean, it's a magnificent place. But for me, and having been involved somewhat in the, the Gray Davis recall, is that we know that Californians, in general, we still are rebels at heart. Uh, we want freedom. And this is what's interesting uh, about the Hispanic community, is that generally it's about fleeing uh, tyranny from South Central America. It's about wanting the freedom to be able to find the dream for your family, which is what every American family wants. Uh, mm -hmm. They're a group, a group of, of people of faith. And they noticed when they couldn't go to their churches. And all of this felt like and smelled like the tyranny that they or their ancestors fled so many years ago. And it's about standing up for what it is you've given everything up for. Uh, and there's a passion to that. And that is part of what, of course, makes this country great. But what I'm thinking for California, and because so many people have left, is I'm not sure when it comes to the electorate who is there. This is about a get out the vote effort. It is about passion, uh, and this is they want to make it Gavin Newsom versus Larry Elder, but it's not. It's Gavin Newsom versus the future. My God, choose whomever you want. There's over 40 people on that ballot. You heard from Kylie and, and from Cox earlier. Those are, these are great guys. Everybody who wants a chance to do better. That's what Californians have to give themselves as a gift just for one year, because there's another election next November in 2022. Yeah. You know, given a, give someone a chance. Um, Californians are the white. We're still the Wild West. We love our state. We know what's possible. We've seen it governed well. This is not normal what has happened here. Everyone deserves exactly. better because that election will affect the entire country. It's about saying to the, your fellow Americans, no matter where they come from, we are here for you. We get it. We're going to try this. Yes. But let's do this together. And it's about saying we exactly. care about people well said. more than we care about political parties. That's right. And Kristen, just one quick, quick last thought from you. Uh, Biden is coming here. I think that that is still on to help, inverted commas, <laughs> uh, Gavin Newsom tomorrow. What do you think? Is he going to help? I don't. And, you know, as a Latino, I find the whole thing so offensive. I mean, I, I, th I think Biden is a fundamentally very racist man. Uh, he made this horrible comment that the press really just glossed over about how Latinos don't want to get vaccinated because we're all scared we're going to be deported. You know, this is somebody who, to yeah. his core, thinks that the Latino community is just made up of entirely illegal immigrants. 
um, and you know we're sort of nothing to him. So you know it, it just really is fitting that somebody okay. like that would come out to to campaign for Gavin because they don't have any regard for the Latino community. Well, there you are. Um, we'll see. We'll follow it. And I think for both of you, you know, you, what, what you're capturing there is this people's movement against this unbelievably tyrannical rule that has just taken people for granted because they haven't had a challenge until now. Now the challenge is there and it's just going to continue. Kristen and Tammy, thank you both. Really appreciate it.